Hey team, this is Evolve Strong with CJ, and this is CJ. I help you lose 10 pounds and five inches in 28 days. I run a program here called Shred. And within Shred, um, there's a basic science behind it and a strategy that I use within the first week of Shred in order to get the individuals in the program a good immediate return. Meaning, um, I guarantee that within that four week period, within 28 days, that I could help the individual lose 10 pounds and five inches on their waist within 28 days. This is how I actually do it. I was explaining this morning the importance of time, and it's what they call TMV, time, uh, TTV, time to value, time to value in business terms. This is a mission critical uh, measurement of how quickly you can get a return on your investment. So when somebody joins Shred and they make that initial investment, and I'm gonna tell you this, you know, I've, I've provided free services quite a bit and about 60 to 70% of those individuals that I provided free services to stop. They don't have any, any um, skin in the game and they don't show up. So I've provided that before and I just won't do it anymore. Um, I know the value that I have. And in order for you to take it seriously, you do have to have skin in the game. And, but I take that very seriously when someone does invest in my program. And currently, what is super fucking cool, and I appreciate those of you, all of you who are listening that are part of our programming, um, is that I have 100% success rate at this point. And I don't give up on someone. And I will, I will, I do guarantee my work. And I've already provided that. I've put my, my mouth to where it is, you know, to, the, to what, I, what it is with one individual, but yet within a period of less, less than seven days, they came down. Anyways, neither here nor there. I always guarantee my work because I, I, I know what, what I'm doing. Now, listen. The science behind time to value within that first week and the reason and the methods to my methodology uh, are this. I'm, I'm just going to be full outright. Within that first week, you're required to show up minimum six days a week for one hour. I push you to different levels that you would probably not do on your own. So when no, an individual normally goes to the gym, you know, they have their certain routines or they'll go to a class or they'll do just different stuff. And I, you know, I've been in the industry now for 25 years combined, it's 15 years now together on this one. Um, and I've, you know, been teaching four or five classes per day, um, minimum, you know, another five to 10 actual private sessions. So, you know, I have well over 15,000 hours worth of fitness experience and work. And I know what works and what doesn't work. And I know what's out there and it's not out there. And what normally you'd go to, um, you'd probably only be doing about 30, 40% of what you're capable of or what you need to do in order to affect change, real change on the body. So that first six days of getting the value when you've made that investment to get that quick return of a reduction of at least two to three inches off of that waist, which I see almost about 90 to 95% of all individuals coming into shred, you lose about two to three inches off of your waist within that first week period. Um, because number one, we're honing in and focusing on the abdominal wall. So we're engaging the abdominal wall. Whereas before, more than likely you were not engaging that particular area. So there's gonna be a lot of different stuff that is beginning to move. You're beginning to pull in those muscles that are there, the abdominal wall all of those areas, and there's a mind-body connection here. You're focusing on that area the entire week. Plus, you're getting your cardio up. You're getting that muscle. You know, we're, we're working that full hour of just pure work every single day. More individuals, you know, they're more than likely only working probably 20 minutes total of that high-intensity work at a gym, even though they're staying there for an hour or two. So I work you that full hour. So when you get those full hour workouts for six days within the week, first off, it starts making things move. 
you're going to start getting that adipose fat affecting all that area. That's number one. That's number one. The output is greater than you've ever done before. Then number two, I do what we call an intermittent fast. And what happens is, is it is just a structured reduction of calories for four days. And number two, if you have any kind of insulin resistance, it may affect your insulin resistance. So the first two days we do one meal at 500 calories, right? Each day, you could take this on your own. You could do this. This is free advice for all of you out there. You, if you wish to do this right away and get those quick returns so that you get the motivated, at the end result at the end of the day is when you get, when you take, when you get that first measurement, when you walk in and you look and you're like, oh my God, I feel disgusted. I'm like, how did I get to this point? And then within a period of six days, I can get two to three inches off of your waist and I can get a three to four pound reduction. You start getting that spin wheel. You get motivated. You're like, oh shit, this really does work. And then when you get buy-in, then you're like, okay, I can do this. I know I can do this. That is the end result. That's that time to value that I'm trying to get to. So let's get back to this intermittent fast. The first two days are 500 calories, only one meal at 500 calories. And you get a really good meal at 500 calories. You can get a good flank steak, season it up really well, fry it up, uh, you know, grill it, do whatever you're going to do with it. And then put it on a thing of like a salad, like a steak salad. You can even put an egg on there. You can put all different kinds of veggies and you can do like a, um, uh, 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 you know, a good dressing, a low calorie dressing, low sugar, low calorie dressing, you know, uh, olive oil and, and and lemon and salt and pepper. It's really good on there. Just make it flavorful. You do that for two days. And then we do go to a thousand calories, day three and four, two 500 meals spaced six hours apart. Again, if you get a 23 hour with no sugars in your system, it'll calm down your insulin release. Insulin is one of the major drivers of weight of holding on to your weight now again if you're diabetic if you have other issues going on if your doctor said not to do it then follow your doctor's advice but for the most part 99 percent of you guys can follow this advice and then we get two days you know of a thousand calories so that's your four-day intermittent fast pretty simple you marry that with six days of hardcore workout you marry that with a four-day structured reduction of calories intermittent fast you're going to get the returns of at least two to three inches off your waist and at least a three to four pound reduction in your weight. That is the averages that I see within that first week, within that first six days. Now, with that said, what happens psychologically with that, it's a business term of time to value. Once you've made that investment, once you've made that six days, you're going to get those quick returns. And it's healthy. It's healthy. You, it's it's real food. It's real. How many times do we go out on a weekend and we partake in alcohol, food, restaurants? We'll go out and we'll do two, three cal thousand calorie meal, right? Two to three thousand. One of those Papado's meals. Holy shit. That's three thousand to four thousand calories from one of those plates built with rice and fish and all kinds of shit like that, right? You add on a couple beers and drinks. You're eating three to four thousand calories, right? So why is it we can't reduce just one or two days with only 500 calories? You're not going to die, but at, for every yin, there should be a yang, right? So within this, what I do is all I do is provide three things, my knowledge, accountability, and a kick-ass workout. And the accountability is just structure. When you show up and you're part of this group and you know what, you're, what I know what I'm doing, I'll tell you what to do. That's what you're doing, right? And that is that time to value. The problem that I see with individuals that go on to diet, so go on to this or go on to that, there's no structure. And then they half-ass it. They half-ass it. They don't, they, they, yeah, I'm going to get a gym membership for $10 at Planet Fitness. I'm going to go every day. You go, but then you do a treadmill for maybe 10 minutes. Then you go do this little weight and you do that little weight. Nope, you worked out. Great. Unfortunately, that is a half-assed workout. Yes, that's not, that's, not, that's not a full hour of pure sweat. You know, you're huffing and puffing, you're dying. That's where, that's not going to affect change. That's not. Your body's an amazing creature. 
it will maybe do a little bit at the beginning, but you will adapt to it over and over and over again. And if you're doing the same thing over and over again, what is that called? Insanity, right? You got to push yourself to the limits, guys. You got to push yourself to a point where you're going to affect change and you got to switch it up continuously. That is why, you know, Evolve has been so successful is that's what we do. I'm not here giving you an infomercial. You can do this on your own. What I would even suggest is get on YouTube. Go on YouTube. Do some of those classes on those guys. Some of those guys are fantastic. They're fantastic, right? Switch it up. Some of the exercise programming should be pretty boring. It should be. Uh, every day, I do just different variants of lunges, squats. That's basically it. And then I do a shitload of push-ups, a lot of rows. That's it. And when you look at my classes, they're very simple. I don't do any kind of, you know, I don't have, I don't have this tool, that tool. I don't do a Peloton. I don't do like, you know, BOSUs. I don't do, I don't do any kind of like weird Pilates, you know, torture chamber weird slings and shit like that. Mine is very simple. Sometimes it's just body weight. Sometimes it's just a pair of dumbbells, you and a mat. That really is all I do. And it should be simple, but you have to get to a point where you are exhausted because chemically that reduces growth hormone, that reduces the endorphins, that gets the body moving. That's what you have to have done in order to affect change in your body. You have to. You can't just pussyfoot around and say you've done it for a couple sets and you're good to go. You cannot do that. that. That won't affect you. Also, guys, quit getting on these ketos and Atkins and all kinds of crazy ass shit because your body's going to adapt to that. And the moment you put other shit back into it, you're going to like, it's just, it's, it's, you know, it, it stop. Reduce your calories. Use intermittent fasting. You reduce your calories. Watch what you're eating and then just reduce them. And the output. And you're going to get it. You're going to do it. The beauty of Shred and the beauty of Evolve or the beauty of any kind of structured program that you invest in, because this is an investment into your body. Think about how many times and how much money you've put into systems that don't work. Right? So, yeah, I am. I am valuable. I get it. But again, my structure works. So find something that works for you. Again, I, I, I keep coming off like a, <laughs> an infomercial. I don't mean to be an infomercial today, I promise. I was trying to actually give you time to value uh, of the importance of time and what it plays in your psyche in order to keep a program and motivation going. The only reason people keep coming back is for results. That's the only thing that people keep driving back for. I get that. And I strive every day to make sure that I am providing the results that people require. And the, when they put that investment down and they put that money down, that they get the results they desire. That is my entire focus and hone in, right? Now, some people, don't get me wrong, some people just want to keep, like Jenny. Jenny is a fantastic thing. She just wants to maintain. She's a badass. And I know like, like Yolanda and Daniel, these guys just want to maintain. They want to, they've reached their goals and they want to stay there. And I get that. But they also come here for different community. They also come here for that accountability. They also come here for that camaraderie. There's different goals for everybody, but a lot of you aren't listening to me are on that weight loss journey. And I get that. But what you have to do, what you have to do is you have to push yourself to that point. And then you have to have something that is sustainable. And then you have to get those immediate returns continuously in order to keep the motivation going. You have to. Now, some of my type A crazy ass personalities, my attorneys like Michelle's and Martha's, these guys, I know what they need is that stress release right off the beginning of the bat. For me, fitness no longer is about, yes, I love my 15 inch bicep. Yes, I love my, the way my butt looks. I guess I do love the way I look in pictures when I take my shirt off. I do like that, but I maintain. But for the most part, fitness for me, if I don't get it done in the morning, I am a psychological mess. So the stress relief for me on a daily basis is critical for me to get that workout in. Now I can go to a gym and get on a treadmill. I can do like different stuff. I still, you know, have my little membership at PowerFlex and I do that for my heavy lifting. But for the most part, I like the group fitness atmosphere because it's a structured hour 
and I get, I kick my ass. I kick my own ass. And for me mentally, in order to handle, evolve in all of the stresses and craziness of my life, I have to get that one hour workout in every single day. And I get that. So a lot of my type A personalities that come continuously that have been with me for years, I thank you first off and foremost, but I do understand that weight loss may not be your main. And so what we do is I try and make it fun. I try to make it invigorating and I push you beyond limits that I know you wouldn't do on your own. And that's my job. And that's what I do. So that time to value is critical in all that you do. And this is even important for everything you do in your life, right? When you pick up a book and it's self-help and it gives you that immediate, like, okay, yeah, that's a great idea today. I'm going to do that. So then that adds value for you immediately. I get that. So remember everything that you do, try to get that time to value immediate. And that's what you're going to get here with Shred and with all the other programs that we offer here. And that's why I think it's critically important that time is a critical element in our fitness and our well-being. So after that hour with me, if I have not provided you that, you know, that really good push, then, you know, probably, you know, we need to figure that out, right? So anyways, guys, that is my message today. The importance of time and the importance of getting those quick returns at the beginning and what the value is and what I offer. All right. So if you are interested, I'd love for you to text me 505-370-7771, 505-370-7771. Also, guys, hey, please, please, please subscribe. Please subscribe. That helps me out just a ton, okay? I'd appreciate that. This is a free service to you guys. So just subscribe, all right? Hey, from our tears, when we're star strong, stay strong, always be evolving up most strong. Later, team.